Estimation, Addition, Subtraction, and Money When we use estimation, we are finding an approximate or close sum or difference to an addition or subtraction problem. We use estimation when the problem asks us to find out about how many or about how much. In these problems, we can estimate instead of finding the exact answer. Sometimes it is helpful to estimate the sum or difference first, so that we have an idea of what the exact answer will be. This is also helpful to check to see if our exact answer is reasonable or not. Estimating addition. To estimate a two-digit addition problem, we find the closest 10 for each number in the problem. 31 plus 18. 31 is closest to 30, because 1 is less than 5, so we round down, and 18 is closest to 20, because 8 is greater than 5, so we round up. We can also look at a number line to find the closest 10. The closest 10 to 18 is 20, and the closest 10 to 31 is 30. Now we can easily use mental math to find the estimated sum. 50 is our estimated sum, because 30 plus 20 equals 50. Now we can solve for the exact sum. 31 plus 18 is 49. To check if our exact sum is reasonable, it needs to be no more than 5 away from the estimate, or no less than 5 away from the estimate. Our exact sum is only 1 less than the estimated sum. So our sum is reasonable. Let's try another one. 36 plus 52. Find the closest 10. 36 is closest to 40, because 6 is greater than 5, so we round up. And 52 is closest to 50, because 2 is less than 5, so we round down. The estimate is 90, because 40 plus 50 equals 90. The exact answer is 88, because 36 plus 52 is 88. Our exact answer is 2 less than the estimate, so our answer is reasonable. Estimating Subtraction To estimate a two-digit subtraction problem, we find the closest 10 for each number in the problem. 89 minus 65. Find the closest 10. 89 is closer to 90, because 9 is greater than 5, so we round up. 65 is closer to 70, because 5 is equal to 5, so we round up. Now we can easily use mental math to find the estimated difference. 20 is our estimated difference, because 90 minus 70 equals 20. Now we can find the exact difference. 89 minus 65 is 24. To check if our exact difference is reasonable, it needs to be no more than 5 away from the estimate or no less than 5 away from the estimate. Our exact difference is 4 more than the estimated difference, so our difference is reasonable. 78 minus 53. Find the closest 10. 78 is closest to 80, and 53 is closest to 50. Estimate the difference. The estimate is 30, because 80 minus 50 is 30. The exact answer is 25, because 78 minus 53 is 25. Since our exact answer is 5 less than the estimate, our answer is reasonable. Estimating money. When we estimate with money, we are usually trying to figure out the approximate amount needed to purchase certain items. To figure out if we will have enough money to buy certain items, we use estimating and addition. Joe has 50 cents. He would like to buy a kite and a yo-yo. Does he have enough money to buy these items? We need to figure out if Joe will have enough money to buy these two items, so we will estimate about how much money he will need. The yo-yo is 27 cents, so we round up to 30, and the kite is 42 cents, so we round down to 40. Our estimate is 70 cents, because 30 plus 40 equals 70. Joe has 50 cents, and he needs about 70. Joe does not have enough money to buy these items. Jackie has 95 cents. She wants to buy two kites. Does she have enough money to buy two kites? 42 rounds to 40. 40 plus 40 is 80. Our estimate is 80 cents. 
Jackie has 95 cents. She needs about 80 cents. Jackie does have enough money to buy two kites.